So there's a cat shelter here in Northern Tasmania called Just Cats, and that's where we adopted Daisy from. They also helped us out a lot when Squeak decided to randomly have kittens in our garage, and she kind of became part of the family. They helped us find homes for all the kittens and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, today they're doing what they're calling a cat cafe. So they've got a food van, the idea is you can go, you can get food, you can get a drink, and you can play with the cats. And all they're asking for is a donation, so we're heading out there today to do just that. Just Cats is located near Longford in northern Tasmania, about a 20 minute drive from Launceston. I've been here since we adopted Daisy. and let them have a sniff first. Mm. Not long. No, down near his nose, not above his head. <laughs> yeah, I think he's a little bit freaked out. They have these great little rooms for the cats to hang out in. Yeah, anyway, it's on you. Just pop on the desk. Oh, you're so itty bitty. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Yeah. Well, you're used to our big fat sos. <laughs> hey. Hello. Oh, look at your cactus. Look at your cactus. A lot of pet and stuff. Yeah, if you cleaned your hands. Yeah, I'm still. And the drawers connected to the walls are a great idea. Cats love to be up high, it makes them feel secure. We actually donated a set of drawers when they were doing this renovation. They are from our old house. <laughs> Good look, can they want? This one's hiding. Oh, there's Dashy hiding. Look at this. I think this is Angel. Look at you! Aren't you handsome? You're a bit cute, aren't you? Hello. Lily bit. Hello. You're pretty. Yeah. Today. Oh. Now this looks good. This is Simba, apparently. Look at him. <laughs> You're funny. Good that belly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there are a number of cats who live here. One of those is Just Cat's mascot, Gavin. While adopted twice, he was returned for various reasons. It seems he really just wanted to live here. Okay. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. 
Oh, you need Thank you, darling. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Hi! You're not going to talk now. Hi, Ruby. Hi, baby girl. And, oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> Look at all the toys you've got in there. You've got like a stash. Have you got a stash? You're so beautiful. Hi. Hello, Ruby. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Oh, meow. You want to come say hi? <laughs> hey, baby. That's Ruby. She'll, she'll let you pat her. Someone's all, someone else has found the kitten. Ruby. No, that's a tabby cat. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. <She's> posing. <laughs> <laughs> hello! Oh, hello! Oh, hello! Oh. Real quick, we just want to give a special shout out to Chantel Monchuro and her new kitten, Little John Star. Now, Chantel actually introduced our latest patron to the Colling Show. And that, of course, is Zane Kelvinator. So thank you, Chantel, for spreading the word. Uh, it really does make a difference, and you've just proven that. And thank you, Zane, for supporting us on Patreon. We really appreciate uh, you both, and it really does help. If you would like to know how you can help and support us, you can go to patreon.com slash Show. Okay, I'm going to have toxic waste. Toxic waste? Ever heard of this candy, guys? It's this candy that's super sour and it's intense. I see. I've heard it before and I regret it, but it's actually going to... But you're going to eat it again? Yes. Because <laughs> you're macho. <laughs> How's the lolly, Harry? Sour. <laughs> so there was a quote on the wall at Just Cats. It said, The true measure of a person is how they treat those who can do nothing for them. And I really liked that quote. I mean, it makes a lot of sense in terms of caring for animals, such as cats, but I think it has applications beyond that that are well worth thinking about. Oh. Hello. How you going? Do you want to say hello, hey? Well. How you going? What's up? Yeah, I saw a cat in, in there that said I'm hoping he was not good at children. G'day. Hey, pal. Yeah. Mom. Yeah. He must be comfortable if he's willing to curl up next to me. Hmm? <laughs> am I am I sitting on your couch? Is that it? Right. See, Squeak does the same thing to me. She sits on my lap, but it's not because she likes me. It's because she wants me to move so she can have my seat. The coffee machine. <laughs> Are you guys best friends? Are you best friends? Uh, that cake is for Chloe, not for you. Oh, is that how you feel about it? This is Scylla. Scylla was a little black kitten that was rescued by Just Cats a few years ago. She was found in an oil drum and they saved her life and she was adopted permanently by Just Cat. She was a beautiful cat, very loving and just one of the cats that a lot of people when they went there was like, Scylla, Scylla. But unfortunately after we left she passed away. Despite the name, you'll see a few other animals around here, like horses and birds. Well, that was a bit of fun, so now we're going to head into Longford and just hang out there for a while, see what we can find. This is the Boer War Memorial. These German guns were given to Australia as war trophies in the 1920s.
What on earth is that thing, Harry? I don't know. <laughs> it's funny looking, isn't it? I'm not sure what this is, I'm sure it's some kind of a workout electronic, it's got lights on it. It doesn't seem to do much. Bit of a pity. One of those Stargate things, but it's got something up here. So what's the go with that? Again, it's just got these green lights that don't do anything. I don't know quite what you meant to do with it. Lunch time. Whenever we're in Longford, this tends to be our old faithful. Here's our BFF. It's full of swearing. Play it, you might need a VI headset. Yeah, and it's old house. I've seen caravans in town. This is like the best Caesar ever. Mm. Daisy! <laughs> what are you doing? Daisy! <laughs> Daisy! Ah. If you'd like to help out Just Cats, we're going to put some links in the description below to some of the ways that you can help to support them in the good work that they do.